I mean, am I good to give my opinion that I like the Eastwood better? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Because like. honestly, I do. All right, so my name's Brian Kurtz. I've been a welder for 10 years. Um, in comparison to these machines here, the exteriors are both rugged. Um, they look nice. The ground cables are the same. Um, the guns are comparable, but the Eastwood definitely looks better. Fits in your hand better. Uh, both metal drive rollers, they look durable. And uh, let's fire these machines up and see how they do. All right, we were doing some MIG welding with the MP200i. So with this V-Groove, um, it's a multiple pass. You got a root pass and then your hot pass, fill passes and cap passes. This is something similar that you're gonna see for a welder qualification, whether it be AWS or ASME. It was a great smooth arc, had nice crisp penetration to it. Wire feed system didn't falter and I, I, had, it, I had it cranked up pretty good. So, I mean, this is a half inch plate and it's, you can see it's already warped up pretty good. So this is some uh, engine brackets here. One welded with the Eastwood 200 MPI Elite Series on, on right here. And uh, the Millermatic 215 here on the right. Just looking at the weld, same settings. Eastwood looks like it's burned in nice. It's got a nice pr weld profile to it. Uh, the one on the Miller has got a cold start and a convex center, basically through the whole weld. So we just finished up welding with these two machines and uh, I welded the same setting, same gas. I gotta say they're very comparable. Both have a three year warranty. They both perform great. I mean, everybody knows Miller, everybody's used one. But uh, when my friends ask, I let them know Eastwood is very, very comparable. I steer them in that direction. Just my choice on the Eastwood because of the arc consistency, um, it was just welded good, had a little less spatter. For more info on this machine, visit eastwood.com.